pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, RHS. I'm Jay Khan. And I'm Dale Lombardi. And this is your Daily Dose for Friday, October 11, 2019. Last Friday, the homecoming king and queen were crowned at the football game. So I love it, I love it, love it, I love it, love it, I love it. So I love it, I love it, love it, I love it, love it, I love it. So I love it, I love it, love it, I love it, love it, I love it. So I love it, I love it, love it, I love it. If you don't consent. If I drop it, they gonna cop it. I might start an off for profit. My papa say chance, but I am so proud of you. Not in the not in my not in neglecting the I'm only beginning. Behold, magnificent. Brown skin, black boy with his red hair, friends calling omnipotent. You talk like cinnamon. You broke up in a minute. Drop that cinnamon, one out seven, and talk that boy. Where the That piece was edited and filmed by Natalie Reed and Izzy Cortez. Great work, ladies. Today is the last day of Band Sweet Week, and it's show day slash Jackson day slash senior appreciation day. King Cutie and Band Sweetheart will be crowned at the football game tonight. Since the band competes on Saturday at the No Bite Invitational, the Band Sweetheart dance will be Saturday, November 16th. The Wind Up Marching Chiefs have some other cool news. They made it to the top 10 for the <laughs> WDIV Top 10 Marching Band and Spirit Squad finalists. Now we just need your help to get them to the top spot. You can vote once per hour until Monday on the Local 4 website. Attention all seniors. On Wednesday, October 30th from 6 to 7.30 p.m., we will be having a senior parent meeting along with FAFSA slash financial aid night meeting for you and your parents to attend. We will be going over essential information and upcoming events and important dates for you and your parents to be aware of, as well as tips regarding filing your FAFSA and financial aid. If you have any questions, please see Miss Morris. The Quiz Bowl team lost 10 seniors <laughs> last year. They are looking to add to the team. Come check out this academic challenge during practices on Mondays from 3 to 4 p.m. in room B212. If you are interested, please see Mr. Curtis for more information. The girls group had its first meeting Monday, and but new members are always welcome. They meet Mondays in the teacher's lounge right after school. Now here's Cameron with sports. Girl swimming lost on Tuesday to Riverview, and tonight, <coughs> varsity football has a game against Allen Park. Come out and be a part of the student section. Hey Bears, this is Jake Cons, and do you know why it's important to be in the student section? Why do you think the student section is so important? They give us the energy for real to just keep feeding and uh, keep playing, and then like the momentum that they bring and the energy that they bring just keep us all going and playing at a high momentum. Because it gives us support when we're playing. What is the purpose of the student section? To hype up the football games. What is your favorite thing to hear from the student section? I believe that we win. But I like when we sing the fight song after the dub. What is your favorite chant? Hell why not, hell why not, hell why not. Then hell no point and then we say hell no. How does it make you feel whenever you hear that? Um, it just excites me. Especially for the Monroe game when they were coming down. When it was like the last seconds of the game. You know, kind of gave me chills when they said that. Uh, just made me want to keep pushing through and uh, just keep fighting and make sure we really get the dub so they can all be happy. How do you think it affects the football players? It gives them that extra boost of energy when they're feeling down. And that was your glimpse into the student section. Now back to the anchors. The game starts at 7 p.m. Be there and support your Bears. Also, freshman volleyball has an away game at U of M Dearborn. Good luck to all teams. That's all for sports. Now back to you, Dalen. Peer to Peer is hosting a unified basketball tournament on Saturday, November the 2nd at 5 p.m. Player spots are filled, but they will love support. They are looking for cheerleaders and fans. Please come support this great event. The seniors are well used to the building and are thinking about their next step. 
College. College visits are underway. The University of Detroit Mercy will be here 7th hour tomorrow. Lawrence Tech and Wayne State and Northwood will all be here next week. If you are interested in any of these schools, please see Ms. Morris to sign up. Future college visits include <coughs> Eastern Michigan, Madonna, Lake Superior State, Grand Valley, and Saginaw Valley. The Saginaw Valley will host an on-site admissions day in early November. Don't forget that the Homer Den is open every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 3 to 4 in the Media Center. Stop by to get some extra help. Happy birthday to Emma Adams, William Groh, Nora Keast, Rachel Ritter, and Dominic Stellini. Hey, Daylin, what happens to a frog's car when it breaks down? I don't know what. It gets towed away. <laughs> Stay classy, RHS. Oh, Lord, Jesse made another one. I just pull up, Uzi, pull up with it. We gonna shoot it. Hey IHS, have you heard of the wine news? The students have been hard at work making this year's very first issue. It will be sold on Monday, October 14th for 50 cents. Make sure you bring in your quarters. You don't want to miss it. Hey RHS, you have 20 seconds to answer these five questions. Do you think you can do it? 20 seconds on the clock. What's your favorite state that starts with the letter Z? <laughs> There's no state that starts with Z. Uh, Zootopia. Zootopia. <laughs> Z win. What's your favorite kind of strawberry? <laughs> it's just that. Uh, what? <laughs> Milkshake strawberry. <laughs> what is your favorite color in the alphabet? What? <laughs> Purple. Color? Color? No. What? <laughs> Did you hear about the kid who got cut in half? No. He's all right now. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, he's all right now. <laughs> Did you hear about the kid that got cut in half? There is no I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't worry, he's all right now. <laughs> Look up at the ceiling. <laughs> it says gullible. <laughs> Look up at the ceiling. It says gullible. <laughs> yeah, it says gullible. <laughs> I rose <laughs>